Hey guys, greetings uh, and welcome you again to Dying the Programmer. Actually, in this video, we're going to start some JavaScript fundamentals, and as you see, we're going to use the Mozilla um, documentation to go through it. So, basically, what we're going to be doing throughout this series of videos uh, is going to be JavaScript, like from beginners to advance so with time we'll get to go so this repository i'm going to add it in the description for you to check out the progress and each section of the video will be reproduced as a commit message so firstly we're going to clone this to a github so um we'll clone the github repository on our vs code so what we're going to do is Firstly, if you don't have a uh, Git, uh, GitHub set up in your machine, there is a video I'm going to send for you to be able to set that up. Okay, so firstly, we're going to clone this repository, and it's in this repository that we're going to use to um, walk through. You get it right. So now, <clears throat> as you see here, JavaScript is a lightweight interpreted or just in time. Compiled programming language with first class functions. Um, when I say lightweight, it's as it is um, it's easily movable and interpreted like it's interpreted line by line. That's from top to bottom. You are going to understand when we're writing, we're creating different functions and testing. You understand why I'm talking about interpreted in this very um, scenario. Why do you talk about interpreted? So that is just basically it and javascript runs on the browser like um you will discover that you can run javascript on the server side on node.js and you can run it in your browser like for instance we're going to take this on incognito mode when you come to incognito mode there is um um uh, what they call the console right but now you can easily access it by saying this, which you are going to have a blank page. And now from here, you can either inspect. You see, when you inspect, you have a developer console here. And in this developer console, you can give um, any particular message, maybe. Let's just assume that you don't know what um, variables are. At this point you get it now so you see basically we have just stored uh, this particular information here that let daniel be equal to 12 and you see that the browser has actually stored this information that anytime you see daniel you should give it 12 so basically that's javascript that's what javascript does okay with time we're going to get deep into that right okay now that we've um, clone this repository here what we're going to do we're going to separate our project into different folders okay like different folders as in the different videos so that once you come to the repository you'll be able to um, navigate to a particular section that you want to study okay so uh, if you're watching this video and you don't have um, knowledge of html and css i'll advise you to check out the html and css playlist before coming here to study javascript okay so that it will give you a, a strong fundamental for you to get started you get it right so uh, this documentation is very very friendly for you when you're learning javascript for instance, you can come here and you check maybe variables and it will give you a vivid description on how to um, use variables. You get it, right? You see, it's going to tell you a variable is a container for a value and stuff like that in deep detail. So with time, you're going to understand all this and how to navigate your way. So now... I'll just create um, a 
So this is how I'm going to structure it. Firstly, um, in each I'm going to have maybe an index.html. Right. Then now, okay, I'm going. I'm increasing the view now for us to be able to get a skeleton on it. Right. What we're going to do? Just create. Just say first video. Right. So now. You see right so now basically we have this i'll just give you like uh, some basic information about it like i said this is a um html right and like before getting here you should be able to do stuff like this such that uh we are going to take less time so okay let's just you see this by now you should understand that this is uh, for instance a paragraph tag right okay just, we are going to link uh this is not um, an html css because i just want you to make sure that you have to be updated with this uh, particular level maybe uh, you should be able to understand this at this time All right. Okay. So All right. Let's see if it's properly linked. Okay. So by now you should be able to understand stuff uh, related to this section okay so that you will not have issues with uh, javascript oh from here we're going to add our js like i said the js uh, runs in the browser but before we uh, do that there's what we call the script tag which we use to write our our, our, our javascript okay and now this source now you, you, use, you use it to connect to your JS. But now, how are you going to know that this 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 actually works? Okay, let's let's just go run this. If you notice, nothing works here because there is nothing written here, right? Let's just use an alert. get it now like yeah it, it does not actually run but now the question is why do you not run like one thing with the uh, programming is like you should be able to you should be able to research you get it so now how are we going to make this work now you make use of this documentation right you come here alert in javascript okay okay so so you see there are a whole lot of stuff right but now is this what we actually want you just read window.alert hello world in javascript so now when you see this now right you try it out okay you try it out here Once you try that out, you see it, it, it does not still work. So now you may be wondering that what is happening. So now one thing you should ask yourself is if your um, index of HTML is linked to your script, right? You should ask yourself that. Then you could still check, right? How to like the main aim of this video is you to be able to understand how to use Google because 
as a developer right you should know how to find your way out in any situation you are so you come to google and you ask google how to link um you can see html to your script in javascript so now one thing you should do you should learn how to read you see so it's it's like how to link this is how you link it okay so you say we can link javascript to html by adding all the javascript code inside the html file right you can achieve this using the script tag which was earlier explained you can put the script tag inside the head of an html or at the end of the body you get it right so either you put this at the head or you put it at the end of your body so now when you come here you see you've done this right okay but now you're using internal internal so there is no need for you having this okay so you have automatically debugged that problem right so now what you do is you see you have an index.js that's the source file right that is reading all that particular information but now here you have a script.js which has no information okay because there is no file that is um, linked to it okay so if you have that you have to put the information in your script.js for it to render something because this source works like a path you get it right so what we are going to do here is that this is more of externally so we are going to create a script.js back i, I hope um, that's clear enough right so what we will do here is i'm going to do this to, to, to see if it work okay So now it works right so basically <clears throat> as um, a developer you have to work on the ability for you to research okay yeah, so it's very very important because you are not going to know all the tags you're not going to know all um, all the functions that are needed for you to get um, mastery of um, what you're doing so basically what you have to do at um, most time is um you should be able to work on your researching skills because if you're not good at researching you really have um, a very 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 hard time okay so that that's just how it is yeah i'm not i'm not going to make this video too long i'll just stop for here from or i'll just stop here and in the next uh, video we're going to get into um deep things related to javascript and we're going to look into variables and um, values and how it works in javascript thank you for watching this video please like comment and share see you in the next video bye bye